So we've done the video. This is from the future. Watch it at two times speed and you'll be a lot happier. Yeah, email us. Wait. A different video this time. Not one I really want to do, but it's getting to that point where everybody's hounding me to get rid of this stuff, stop being a hoarder and sell some stuff. So basically what you are now is up on a mezzanine floor that used to be full of stuff we actually sold. And at the minute it's full of stuff that we're not even listed anywhere or not a lot of it. So we'll run through some of it. Danny reckons the rules are don't email us until you've looked in the description for a link that's either going to take you to our website or eBay and type the DSD number you're interested in or a description of what you're interested in. If it comes up on there, it's there. If not, we ain't got it anymore because this video was done ages ago. Or maybe it's just been done and we sold it straight away. I don't know. Anyway, let's quickly go through it and you'll see how much crap we've got. Some of it's here because it's returned. Some of it's here because we fitted it and they took it off in testing. Some of it we've just accumulated somehow. Don't know how, so don't ask us too many questions because we probably don't know. So anyway, flywheels. These are the O2J ones, five speed O2A, O2J. Cast ones, they're 100 quid, they've been fitted. There's a billet one there, 150 quid. These are the seven kilo ones, these are the cast ones, so they're 100 quid, same. PPD 170 flywheel, he said it weren't Yeti and slip, don't know why, God knows how much that is. That was wrong kit for Yeti, so that is an expensive kit, it'll be cheaper, have a look in the description. And then another one, I'm assuming the same kit or a standard version of that. There we go. No idea how much that is. So that's an O2M flywheel. That'll be 150 quid. These are T5 ones. It says reference Rob, so Rob knows. It's all T5 stuff, T5. Sax race plates. These are when people have put them in and then decided they want a stronger one, so they put the paddle ones in. I think they're like 150 quid or something like that as well. Try to damage them. That part number fit here it says discount because it's only done 100 miles. Whatever that price is, it's going to be probably half. These are all pressure plates from our silent kit. Should be 156 quid, 70 quid for these. Loads of release. Oh, they're full kits. Full kits, not just pressure plate, pressure plate and disc. So any of them will go with them flywheels. So that's a full kit for, could be. 170 or 220 quid so that's that there they are we'll throw some bolts in i'm sure anyway or you might have to buy them extra i don't know loads of sax race stuff here get danny to just look at them all part numbers prices a lot cheaper than what they should be just get rid of all these there's thousands of pounds worth of stuff here this is just all random crap but basically then we ended up with these somehow what are these for josh written on them what they are ultralight to I spec, whatever, that's what they should be. Get rid of them. Carbon Lorraine, they're expensive. This was a Bosch Motorsport throttle body. I think it's 82 mil from Tigre project. Some potentiometers, they're not cheap. I'm sure they were like 80 quid each, something stupid. Anyway, need to get rid of them. Just some random stuff, no idea what that is. GT28 flanges. Get them if you want them. Just some random car to lift pump in there. God knows how much that'll be, but it'll be listed. Fast centers this age when we never did out weight, a little fuel filter. Somebody might use it for summer, it's nice. The BLS upgrade, so that's a 200 horsepower upgrade, is it? No, it's a billet one, so it's um, the 220 horsepower one, 500 quid. BLS turbo, this is lightly used, 400 quid. This turbo is, this, I think this is the standard one from RTTs. I can't remember which one, it, whatever it is anyway. That'll be cheap. We got these as well. If anybody want these, they got delivered to us in post. Nobody knew why. We got in touch with TT and they just never got back to us. But I think they're good there like that on IS38s or something like that. Something like that anyway. Um, this billet collector, we've had it forever. T3, T4, and that actually fits the S300 Borg Warners. Six cylinder. Cost a lot of money to have that made. That's probably a couple of hundred quid. Manifold from our golf when it had a front ender and got a crack in it. That is ceramic coated as well. That'll be like 300 quid. Another one exactly the same, but not ceramic coated and it's not cracked on the collector. That's listed on eBay, that. I think that probably similar sort of money. Two manifolds, both ceramic coated, one silver, one not. They're off the Arosa then when it had a BMW turbo and it cracked there on that one. And then the other one, I just think we took it off and didn't use it. They'll probably be like 300 quid billet collection. You'll never get one that cheap. That'll fit oval port, common rail stuff. Tureg engine covers, whatever. 
no idea what they're worth. One, two, three D intercores. These had to be modified, but they're cheap. They're the earlier E series one. E90 M3 radiator upgraded one. It's not a direct fit though. It's I think it's for an M3 and not. Oh, it might fit an E92. I don't know, but it's it, it's a radiator anyway. You know it fits whatever. 120 D. Not sure what year that is. 100 quid. And then 135i, 100 quid, cheap, cheap, cheap. And then this here has got a bit of damage on it. I don't know what's rubbed that. Some little rubbing it, B8, 8.5, 100 quid, cheap. KTM stuff, I think there's two front hubs and a rear hub. Then a carbon fibre splitter that got damaged. No idea what these are worth, but if not, that's going to go on wall at some point. But I'm thinking it's like two grand for a new one. I'm sure somebody could repair it. The cat, they're not cheap and it were an optional extra originally on non-road cars so when you're converting them back, worth a few quid. Anyway, that's that. V12 Q7 steering wheel. God knows what that's worth. Random stuff in an airlift box. Can't even remember what's in here. But yeah, I think they're Scott's SQ5 front struts maybe, some spare ones. There's no top mounts with them. No top mounts with them, yeah. But they're working. I think you had to buy full new struts just to get top mounts. So that's that. That what? Cancellor for um, air ride on his old B8. They're a few, and you can only buy them in pairs. One of them knacked up me to buy two of them. Oval port, common rail pistons. Sorry, round port. They've been machined and coated. There's a grand's worth there. I've been trying to get 600 quid for them. Water meth tanks, 30 quid for them ones there, small ones. These pro vents, these have been returned. One of them's got a broken clip, but these have just been returned, not fitted. But they've got little scratches on. Um, Stuff like that, not major, but they're 50 quid each. Got a few of them. Um, a Scorpion alarm, we got it for truck. I don't know how much that's even worth, but we'll put it on anyway. Never used it. Alternator, I think that's for a Mark IV Golf, so it's no use to us, but that's remand. Super trackers, full kit, we don't use them anymore. I don't even know how much they are new, but it'll be whatever they are new, half it, and you can have them for that. Nitrous kits, we've got. Full 11 pound bottle, full so We don't list these anymore just because supply chain issues. Yeah, 150 solenoid. That would be one off. I think there's two full kits pretty much except bottles, but we can sort that out. If somebody wants a cheap kit with a bottle and a used solenoid, we'll probably put that together as well. This is the turbo kit from RA5 when it was 500 horsepower. A few people have offered to buy this. Comes with absolutely everything. Obviously, you need a bit of a brain to make it fit, so whether we fit it to somebody's car or not. Been offering this out of like three grand, but nobody will bother. I think a couple of grand would probably take that, but we don't really any hassle about fitting it or mapping it or whatever, unless you're paying us three grand for us to fit it, map it and do whatever. So anyway, springs, don't know what they're off. Two of them. Some other springs, they're too soft for us. They come with our Bilstein kit. These ball joints, we've got all designs for these, so it's a shame we haven't sold any, but these are, Extended ball joints for Mark Free Golf. So we have them on City Go, but Mark Free Golf fitment, they'll be cheap, but cost us a lot of money. These are going for 125D, no idea what brand they are. Somebody just sent us them and said, Will you fit them? We never did. They'll be like what, 50 quid or something. Front bottom arm, I think these are F Series Beamer ones, yeah, that's what they are anyway. Wherever they are, each you can have a pair for that price. Mirror caps for Scott's 125D, make an offer. Standard Mini Cooper SD suspension arms, that's there. No idea what it's worth. This stuff in here, this is painful. But this is all the stuff for an electronic handbrake that we made when we were trying to convert the Amarox to seven ton and it just didn't ever happen but this is everything, it bolts on and just pushes on your handbrake. So if your handbrake's crap on your hammer on, you want it to be better, buy that off us. It'd be nice if you paid as much as it cost in R&D, but you're probably not gonna, so it'll be cheap. So then this is oval port, top mount, BMW downpipe, and turbo from our golf race car. So it's had a hard life, but it's all still there. Rob reckons 750 quid for that. We can supply everything else to make a full turbo kit if required. Racing DPF, we had this on golf, but we're not going to use it anymore. Um, 150 quid for that. 
chop it off if you don't want all that stuff. BMW DPF delete. This one were a return. Somebody bottomed his car out and completely destroyed downpipe, so it needed re in there. 150 quid for that. Amarok secondary cats, couple hundred quid there. Primary cat, 300 quid there. Caddy standard springs, they're gonna be like 50 quid or something like that. Then we've got full Amarok quad exit, and it's got a bypass valve in, but I think the valve's damaged. I don't work anymore. That's like 400 quid. It probably costs you a grand for us to make that if we've made it again. And we usually have to have car here to make them as well. So yeah, it's there. Um, then these are from the race car. Most of these bits are. So these are Miltec downpipes. They had 1100 quid retail on them. They've obviously been used. Some little bits of stuff come out of it sometimes, but if you're wanting something road legal, I think they're it. 300 quid each, two, it's two of them. Then we've got two twin exit systems. One's got a silencer and one's not. They should be nearly a couple of grand each. I don't know, whatever they're worth. A few hundred quid each maybe. Maybe 400 quid a system. I don't know. They're not perfect, but it'd be nice to get some money back because we've got a Mechazone system for them cars. What else we'll keep on exhaust? A3 8P sport back exhaust. I think 100 quid for that. It might need a bit of adaptation onto your downpipe. And then this is the first part of the BKD 4 motion downpipe. 100 quid for that, cheap. And then I've got two of these, there's only one here. This is the rear subframe from Verkline. That, well, 1,300, 1,400 quid pretty much. 800 quid a tent them. Um, we've just gone to the modified standard subframe for many various reasons. Um, didn't fix the problem we thought we were having, but anyway. Super Pro front arms for the TT, so MQB platform cars. I don't know how much they are, but probably 100 quid to take that pair with some ball joints that maybe need replacing. Mintex Racing rear pads for Mark 7 platform as well. They look like brand new, rusty, but brand new. And then these came with the TTs, load of brake fitting. This was basically all the brake pipes from in the car. Because they took the ABS off, they put two of these tilt and bias valves in. So basically you're buying some a pair of tilt and bias valves for, what, 100 quid for a pair, and you get a load of brake fittings for free. And these come out of TTs, the gearbox side seems better than the others, but these VW racing mounts, they're about 500 quid these, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I think, well, that happens to them. I think that one's in good nick. Yeah, that end up come out. So you get a pair then, you can have that one for now. 100 quid, I'd probably take them. And these racing batteries, these are what came in the TTs. They were absolutely fine in the cars. No bother. Come with a bracket and all that sort of stuff. I think like 50 quid would probably buy each of them. And then this one come out of Steph's Mark II, I think. I think he had a starting issue. It turned out it was wire front battery, not the actual battery, but he just put a normal one in anyway. For like 30 quid or something. And then an extra bracket. I don't even know what battery that's for. It looks the same as that one. So it probably fits that battery, but not got one. I think that might have been our Beamer. This is proper random box of crap, but airline fittings. If anybody uses them, we're on extra floor ones, so box full of them. Should we buy something else off us? Ask us for them. I don't know what these even are. For chopping some diamond blade. Look expensive. No use to us. Whatever. Linear act uh, air actuator. Air, uh, ram. God knows what that's worth. And then some random gas regulators, I don't know whether they're any good or not. And then this is probably one of the most viewed things that we've still got listed. All this stuff's already listed, that's why I ain't gone through it in detail, but this is a compound turbo system we had for a BKD engine. That's why it's got that manifold on. So we've got like 400 odd horsepower out of this and it's full pretty good but somebody wanted the flange for the wastegate, so the wastegate flange got chopped off. So I've still got the wastegate, and that's got heavy springs in that as well. There's some extra springs there. It just needs another flange welding on that in whatever orientation you get away with. But it's a full kit, comes with two compressor housings, two compressor wheel sizes. You can just swap them without balancing it as well, because it's all component balance. And three different turbine housings, and three different actuators. In theory, you could make that work for whatever power you're wanting. It's listed, so look at listing on that. It'd be nice to get rid of that. I don't want to scrap it all, and it's worth nothing 
in its component parts, but I think it's like 800 quid or something, it's not expensive. A few other random bits on here, nothing too exciting, some more racing brake pads for TT, they only fit with them six pot calipers. Uh, another DPF, so we've got, these are the Passat CUAA DPF, these are pretty much brand new. If anybody's having DPF problems, got them. This is all the CUAA stuff, so this is all the stuff we take off when we're done with it. Charge core and all, all sorts of stuff, so because them engines were pretty much brand new. So they're there. We've got these Robox printers, two of them, with a little thing to stack them on top of each other and some spare parts. I think these are spare or repairs, so two might make one, a couple hundred quid, buy them. Silicons, I think we're going to just dump these in reception in a big bin and just say uh, a quid each or something, but they're just like that. They probably cost us 30 quid to have that med. They're just silicons everywhere, so if you see, the, see any that you want in this video, ask us, but if not, they're all going in reception anyway. We've got some other stuff. Right, we're in a different location now. Got these two turbos, absolutely massive. I can't remember what size wheels these are, but they're ridiculous. 100 mil wheels or something like that, probably bigger. They'll probably do like 700 horsepower or something. Don't know what we got them for. We've got two of them. They'll be cheap, like 100 quid each or something. There's this that we used to take racing with, but we ain't got room for it anymore. Danny will put a better picture of that up. Like to sell that. Make an offer, it'll be cheap. Tell them what it was. Well, there'll be a video of somebody cooking on it, and you'll know exactly what it is. <laughs> so, this is where all random stuff ends up, tyre wise. We've still got standard 125D wheels with Pilot Sport 4s on them. We nice to sell them. Got this thing from when we bought as Bridgeport milling machine, but guy who bought it didn't want that, so there's that crap catcher if you want it. Loads of random tyres up here. Them ones, I don't know why they're up here. 255, 40, 18, 52s. I don't think we need them, so we need to sell them. Then we've got tons of part-worn AO52s in 265, 255 and 245s. They'll be like, out from 100 quid down to like 50 quid each. It'd be nice if somebody says they want all the tyres that we're getting when we're done with them, and they'll be very cheap if you do that, because we're going to end up with piles of them by end of race season. AR1s front mini, 225, 40, 18s. Not in bad nick, be nice to get rid of them. Michelin Pilot Sport 5s, We've got four, two, four, five, 40, 18s. We've got three pretty much brand new ones, four that have done one qualifying session at Anglesey, it's like probably 15 minutes running, something like that, so they're there. Um, and across here, which we need to get them all organised, in amongst all that stuff, there's four DSG gearboxes, which they'll be like 850 quid each, but they've all got differentials in you know, two gripper diffs and two Drexler diffs, which they'll be for sale. The gearboxes will come with standard diffs, but if you want a DSG gearbox from a TFSI with a gripper or a Drexler, let us know, because we need to get rid of them, get them sold. These are CFCA engine up there that got rebuilt and supposedly had an issue, but we don't believe it has, so that'll be for sale as well. We'll have another look through it when we get a chance to get it down. There's more stuff. So, we're in one of the other containers now that's absolutely full of stuff as well. Loads of random bits of stuff, but mostly Q7 randomness and standard bits from RTT. So that turbo upstairs is an IS38. These are the standard, what are they? I can't remember what they are. Smaller turbo. Um, brakes, for standard brakes. Don't know why we've got a random Audi R8 inlet manifold as well, but that's for sale and tons of non-genuine drive shafts that fit RTT. So if you've got a front wheel drive DSG, and you want it cheaply drive shafting, it's there. Some other random bits of stuff, but in essence, V12 stuff, look on eBay, try and get rid of it all. We need to empty this container out pretty quickly. I think we've been evicted from it. So we've also got some racking. There's three five meter lengths, ends, whatever you want to call them. Two six meters. This one's just a random, I don't know where other ones are for them tyre racking, then there's beams, which I think they're 2.7s or something like that. Um, yeah, they're 2.7 beams. These are powder coated anthracite, these are powder coated red for us, and a bit scratched and what have you. A few different beams and stuff like that, so some 3 point, what are they, 3.9, so they're nearly 4 metre, them ones. Um, a few of them. And then we've got all these beams here, they're 330s. Eight of them, 18, 2.6 beams. Them six, 
at 130 we had them shortened so they fitted in a specific spot don't know how much any of this is going to be and then just some random shelving there's wooden tops for it here some of it's long span some of it's like short little bits i don't know what they i don't even know where they're from we've got this anyway a few i think there's like four frames something like that it'll be scrap money for that they're a bit dearer but that'll be scrap money we've got another thing we've also got this Qatar lift i think these are made in australia looks very dusty but it's pretty much brand new i think we've had like two cars on it pretty cool thing watch their youtube see how good they are but basically only need air to operate it you lift a car up and you can spin it around with one finger basically so it is good we ain't got room for it three grand so i'm not sure how much everybody's gonna hate me for doing this video and lads for editing it and trying to all work it's going to create in listing everything but we need rid of it it's all going to end up in another container out of way and then we can turn this into a nice place there'll be two rooms up here to do some interesting stuff that obviously we'll do some youtube videos about so help us get to that by buying all this crap getting out of the way thank you